Weeks after Governor Gina Raimondo proposed a budget increase for the DEM, we're learning more about how that money would be spent and where it would come from. The governor says she wants to invest in Rhode Island's parks and beaches, and that could mean small fee hikes for those who use them. Eyewitness News reporter Maury Hirsch Gordon has the story new at five. Some of the most cherished areas in the state of Rhode Island are its natural preserves, its beaches, its bike paths, its state parks. Those are the cornerstones of the ocean state. Well, today an initiative was put into place to keep those beloved places intact. Nature is a place we seek to relax and unwind from our daily stresses in life. If we're going to preserve these parks and beaches and campgrounds for our kids and for their kids, then we have to invest in them and maintain them. Inside the Nature Center at Lincoln Woods State Park Monday, Governor Gina Raimondo and the Department of Environmental Management relayed their passion for the outdoors. I have proposed in my budget um, a million and a half dollar investment this year so we can start to do a better job to maintain and preserve our beaches, parks and campgrounds. It is a tiny investment to preserve what we treasure. Over the past seven years, there's been a 40% increase in beach visitors. And while Rhode Island is first in visitors per acreage, it ranks 47th in investment. Fees for these outdoor spots haven't been raised in 17 years but the increased revenue will be reinvested into the park system. But we're thinking really modest increases, you know, a couple dollars, exactly, a couple dollars. These are for things like beach parking, campgrounds, um, renting a pavilion for a day. It's like roads, bridges, schools, any piece of, of construction, you have to maintain it. And so we have to find the money to, to do a better job. Governor Amundo and her team see this project as a multi-year effort. And over the course of the next few weeks, all across the state, there will be listening sessions for people to share their stories and their recommendations for this project moving forward. The first one is scheduled for Wednesday, February 20th in Westerly. In Lincoln, I'm Maury Hirsch Gordon, Eyewitness News.